back on Fridays. We love to sit down with our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film Yap and find out what's new in theaters, what we should watch, and oh, hold on. Kyle, oh, there's Coach oh, Prime again. Said, hey, hey, thank you, thank you. Eat good, you play good. Thank you, my friend. There it is, all right. Best wishes on the field, thank Coach, you, Coach Prime. Prime. Thank you. Thank you, that's so nice. Uh, so that was Coach Prime. We have a different character here. Yeah, we've got a whole black hat, white hat thing going yes. on. Yes. Yeah. I love you and the Blues Brothers, by thank the way. Thank you, thanks very much. Yes. I, I, know it's, I know it's not Halloween today, but it's my favorite holiday. So since I'm not going to be here on Tuesday, I had to dress up just for you guys. Yeah, your John Wick the other year was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it yeah. was pretty great. Uh, we're talking Halloween, and we got kind of a, a fun movie to kick things off. Five Nights at Freddy's. Talk to us about it. Yeah, so this is a horror film, although it's only rated PG-13, so my kids are dying to see it. It's based on a video game series. It's very popular. Josh Hutcherson stars as sort of a guy, a father at the end of his rope, who gets hired to be a security guard at this like old 80s style pizzeria slash video game, think Chuck E. Cheese sort mm -hmm. of thing. Um, and of course he shows up there and things are going on and it seems like those big animated, you know, the bear and the yeah. grill and all that stuff. Yeah. Not quite so innocent as they might seem. Mm. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. They didn't make it available for critics, but we are going to have a, a review up. Uh, later today. Looks interesting. Like I say, my kids are dying to see it. My nephew Will is addicted <laughs> to, uh, he's, he calls it FNAF, the acronym for it, uh, and he loves that game. So I'm sure he's going to be seeing that movie. Oh, that cool. nice. Yeah. Okay, stuff. so that would be a fun one. The Killer, what's this about? So this one's been highly anticipated, um, and it stars Michael Fassbender as an assassin who's sort of very much a loner, doing his own thing, and he's sort of having a bit of an existential crisis, and of course, there's gonna be a situation where he's getting targeted by his former hitman allies, mm. and he's on the run and having all the things. Uh, again, didn't see this one. This is directed by David Fincher. It's been playing at the film festivals, very, very stylish, very moody, mm. looks cool, kind of John Wick yeah, influence, say, okay. yeah. let's yeah. say. Um, the early reviews I've heard have kind of been up and down, so I'm really curious to check this one out. Again, we'll have a review up very soon, so you can read that. Yeah, did I see that was the team that also did like Seven and Fight Club responsible I think for so, this? Yeah. You, don't, you don't talk about that. Oh, we don't talk about oh. that. Oh, sorry, my bad. Keep that sorry. on the down below. Um, <laughs> uh, Anatomy of a Fall. So this is a French drama. Uh, it's uh, oh, uh, we leave. It played at Heartland <laughs> Film Festival, and uh, our critic Nate Richard has a review of. He calls it one of the most interesting, mesmerizing, engaging films he's seen this year. Okay. About a woman whose um, husband uh, uh, like fell out of their snowbound uh, 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 place that they were living and died, froze <gasps> to death. They have a, a son who witnessed part of it, but he's visually impaired. Hmm. Um, and she also ha apparently has, you know, a lover, possibly more than one lover. Oh. So she gets put on trial for his murder, and it's just this very uh, engaging courtroom drama with lots of flashbacks to the event. One of those sort of like, you know, what's real, what's not type of movies. Cool. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, a lot of different options there. Yeah. So how about on digital or demand? So a uh, new movie on demand, it got a little bit of a theatrical release, didn't make it here, but definitely worth a look on demand is My Sailor, My Love. Um, and this stars uh, James Cosmo and Britt Brennan, probably some actors you've seen in other things. This is an old-fashioned, unabashed, romantic tearjerker about a late-in-life love affair. Aww. He's this crusty old uh, sailor <laughs> who's a widow, w widower, and he's, uh, his daughter hires uh, this woman to come care for him because, you know, he's an old dude set in his ways and kind of <laughs> crusty. Uh, and then they end up falling for each other. And what really makes this interesting is his daughter is not good with that. You know, she's one of these people that sort of feels like she's been denied her father's love all of her life and she can't deal with this and she becomes this very uh, tear-jerking story. But one, one of those movies is like, you know, you, you will laugh, you will cry, you will uh, have uh, warm feelings from this one. I definitely he, recommend he's it. He's one of my favorite guys in Braveheart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, where do I uh -huh. know him from? It's kind of cute when they both grab the apple there. Yeah. And they're like, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. oh. Uh, all right, talk to us about Pain Hustlers. Uh, so this is on Netflix, and this stars um, Emily Bunt, Blunt and Chris Evans and Andy Garcia. It's about a young woman who, and a mother having all sorts of financial problems, ends up getting into the pharmaceutical sales industry for a new drug that's supposed to be the best new painkiller. Guess what? It's just basically fentanyl. Uh, and oh. Oh. Uh, one of the sort of like, not true story, but based on some things you've read in the news about things going on with the opio opioid addiction, 
Uh, and uh, our reviewer, Alex Coombs, gives it a very good review. Says it's def definitely worth a look. Kind of getting not so great reviews, but uh, our man says thumbs up. Okay. Yeah, well, that's what I love <clears throat> about your team. Whether it's you or someone on your team, there's different perspectives. Yeah. And people yeah. can go see that if they go to your website. Yeah, like the Martin Scorsese movie, you know, you know what I thought about it from last week. Uh, I'm very much on the outside. Pretty much everyone else on the film app loved it, so you can go check out that different, uh, different opinion. Cool, yeah. and you're giving away something fun for viewers, yes, right? Uh, of course, for the scary holidays, we've got to give away something scary. So Paramount has come out with a new box collection of horror films called Paramount Scares. Cool. And it's kind of an interesting eclectic mix of classic and more modern film. You've got Rosemary Baby, uh, Pet Cemetery Crawl, Smile, and Sweeney Todd, the Demon, the Demon Barber, Barber of Fleet Street. Uh, of, of Fleet Street. So, <laughs> cool. That's cool. So this is a $100 uh, box set. Oh, we are giving wow. away multiple copies. Wow. So if you want your own, uh, head on over to filmyap.substack.com. Cool. Hit that subscribe button. Especially if you like some spooky movies. Yeah, definitely subscribe. Filmyap.substack.com. Chris, I'm just saying, I think you could pull this look off outside of Halloween, too. I yeah. agree. Yeah. I think it's good. Rock I, I did get my help with the finger tattoos for my wife. <laughs> cool. She, she did those with a Sharpie this morning. What are the boys going to be for Halloween? Uh, one is an absolutely horrifying pig serial killer. That's the, that's the younger one. Great. Of course, uh, yeah. And the other gun, he's still deciding. We've actually got, as you might guess from a Halloween freak, we have lots of costumes yeah. in the basement. Yeah. So kind of pick and choose. That's fun. Very oh, cool. That's amazing. Well, thanks for being here, Chris. Well, you rocked this whole look. Yeah. Thank you so much. As Chris said, if you want to go to the website, that's where you can find all the reviews and then, of course, your chance to win this right here. Thank Check you so out. much. Coming up next, we're going to get a taste of the menu at El Caporal Mexican Restaurant. Yes. And a cut above catering is here to help us fall in love with cooking again with amazing tips on making simple recipes that you actually really like. Yeah, they're getting they ready. Are Ooh. Up. We'll be yeah, right no, stay in the shop. Yeah. That's fine. Hi.